Good? Good. Welcome back to the Midweek Worship Connection. I once heard a story about a little girl who went with her mother to the market. Now, while she was looking around, she saw a bead necklace with a $2 price tag on it. And she had exactly $2 in her pocket, so she bought the necklace. The necklace was plastic, of course, and it was nothing special, but it was incredibly special to her. She loved it. She wore it everywhere. She only took it off to take a bath because her parents were afraid that prolonged exposure of the necklace to water would turn the necklace some strange color. Then one night, as her father finished reading her a book and was tucking her into bed, he asked her, Daughter, do you love me? And the little girl said, yes, daddy, of course I love you. So he held out his hand and he asked, then will you give me your necklace? Now the little girl could not believe what she had heard. No, daddy, anything but that. You can have my bears or my books or any other piece of jewelry, but not my bead necklace. It's very special to me. Okay, the father gave her a hug and a kiss and he said good night. And the next night, as her father finished reading her a book and was tucking her into bed, he asked, daughter, Do you love me? The little girl said, Yes, Daddy, of course I love you. So he held out his hand again and asked, Then will you give me your necklace? Shocked to hear her father ask for the necklace again, the little girl replied, Daddy, I have told you that you can have anything of mine that you want, but not this necklace. It's so special to me. Okay, the father said, gave her a hug and a kiss and said good night. Then on the third night, the father went into his daughter's room, planning to read her a book and tuck her into bed. However, When he entered his daughter's room, she was sitting on the edge of her bed crying and clinging to her prized bead necklace in her hand. What's wrong, sweetheart? The father asked, sitting next to her and putting his arm around her. I know what you're going to ask, she said through her sobbing. I've been thinking about it all day. I do love you and I I know that you're going to ask if you can have my bead necklace. So here it is. You can have it. She held out her hand and she gave the plastic necklace to her father. He received it, put it in his right pocket, and pulled out a beautiful, authentic bead necklace from his left pocket. He said, I want you to have this, as he lifted the beautiful, ornate necklace over his daughter's head and onto her neck. The little girl was lost for words. She took the heavy, dazzling necklace into her hands and looked up at her father. I I don't understand, she said. And the father spoke softly. I know how much that plastic necklace meant to you, but I wanted to give you something better, something that would last. Still, I couldn't give you what was best until you had willingly let go of what you had. Isn't this just like God the Father? He has a plan and a purpose for our lives. He wants to prosper us and not to harm us. We are His workmanship, created for good works, which He has prepared in advance for us to do. We can too easily miss the abundant life that God wants to give us because we are stuck clinging on to the life that we have made for ourselves. We focus on good things instead of on God things. As he was preparing to make his final journey to Jerusalem, where he would ultimately be betrayed, arrested, falsely accused, beaten, and crucified, Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 16, verses 24 through 25. May we take these words from the Lord Jesus to heart. Like the little girl in the story I told earlier, may we be willing to prove our love to the Father by willingly giving up anything He is asking us to lay down, including our own lives. And may we, like the little girl in the story, find that the Father is willing to give us so much more than we could ever dream or hope for. God is good. Trust Him today with all that you have. He wants to give you so much more. Hey, this is Jeff Pullen and And family. family. And we would love for you to come and hang out with us on Saturday, October 16th at at Fairlawn Mennonite Church in Apple Creek, Ohio for the Jeff Pullen Music Ministry Banquet. 
We were not able to have the banquet last year because of the pandemic, but we did create a virtual banquet that you can actually still go back and watch on YouTube or on the website at www.jeffpullingmusic.com. It was a lot of fun, and thank you to those who tuned in to watch it, but it was not the same as having a real life in-person banquet. This year, we will once again have delicious food from Kidder and Town and & Country, and we will be sharing brand new songs from my upcoming solo album, We Are Love. I will also be talking about the four different aspects of the Jeff Pullen Music Ministry, sharing an inspirational message that God has laid on my heart for the evening, and providing a practical opportunity for you to partner with us in the awesome privilege of pointing others to Jesus Christ, who is the source of all truth, love, life, and good. That is our passion and our purpose, and in the process, we don't want to miss Him for ourselves. So come join us on Saturday, October 16th. The banquet is completely free to attend, but we would love it if you would RSVP on the website at www.jeffpullenmusic.com backslash RSVP. Sign up, show up, and be filled up as we celebrate God's faithfulness, eat delicious food, get inspired, hear new songs from the upcoming album, and talk about what it looks like to partner with us in the gospel. We hope to see you there. Bye! Oh